Hi there guys. Today I wanted to share with you what I take out with me um, in the contents of my day pack <coughs> when I'm out in the woods or out on a day trek. I've had a few people ask me what's, what I do carry, so I thought it would be easier to make a video. So what I'll do is I'll just go through the bag and the contents and um, yeah, show you what I got. Okay guys, so here is my day pack. It's a 511 Rush 12. It's a great pack. Um, I've had it for months and it's very, very comfortable. <clears throat> I've got it fully packed out to show you. It weighs about 15 pounds at the moment and uh, I can go for eight plus miles and have no problems with any shoulder ache at all. It doesn't have a waist strap, but it doesn't need it for this size bag. It's got, it's covered in molly straps, which is great, so you can attach things to it. And uh, I'll talk you through what I've attached to it. At the front, I've got a drop pouch, which is really useful when I'm out and about or in the woods. I can pop things into it. And uh, the other day I was <coughs> at the seaside and the kids filled it up with shells which was fun. On the side I've got a Maxpedition bottle holder. The bottle I've got is a little bit too big for it, as the Velcro doesn't shut. But as I say, that is a big water bottle. On the other side, I've got another Maxpedition. It's uh, another bottle holder. I, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put the details below. I wanted to get something to fit my jet boil in, my zip jet boil, and this is the only thing I could find. On the front, it's got um, a pocket. I'll pull that down. I've got a little mesh bag that I've got a little scouring pad in, some tin foil and uh, some kitchen tile. Then I've got an elasticated straps here. I keep my spork, just a plastic spork, and a lighter. In the main bit, I've got my my jet zip boil, jet boil zip. Uh, it's a good stove, it's a bit heavy, but it's great in the wind and it, it really does boil the water very quickly. Underneath this, and I've got some dog biscuits here. My Sky and my dog's uh, lunch basically. When I go out for the day, when I'm sitting down to eat something, I think it's only fair scare, Sky has something too, because uh, we're a team. <laughs> And then in the bottom I've just got a spare foldy cup. You need something in the bottom really so that the jet boil doesn't sink down too deep. Then on the back just to show you the shoulder straps, very padded, very comfortable attachment points. I've actually got Sky's dog whistle. I've got a little uh, carabiner with a light. Silly really. And uh, on the other side I've got a little compass, which has got a thermometer on it. Then on the side here, I've just got some paracord attached. And on the back, I've just got a little, uh, I was given this, this little glow stick. It picks up the uh, sun's rays and glows at night. Then you've also got other pockets on here. I've got one here. Now this, this is called Shiwi. Now this is um, only of interest to the girls really. It's how do I put it? It's great if you need <laughs> when you need to go uh, for a wee basically, rather than having to clamber around in the undergrowth and get stung by nettles and bearing all, you can use this. Job done, as they say. <laughs> I've also got some um, for Sky some poo bags, which because uh, sometimes I go places where you know. I need to definitely clean up after Sky. There's also another zip pocket near the back. I've just got a bandana in there and it's fleece lined so you can put your glasses in there. So that's it in terms of the uh, kind of outer bag. Then we get to the main pockets. We've got one at the back here. All right, I've got, uh, again, this is for the winter, although the Summer in the UK is so rubbish, I probably need these anyway. I've got my ever trusty beanie and I've got some uh, my old leather sheepskin gloves. You've also got 
don't know if you can see, you've also got some um, pockets on the edge here. I've got a magnifying glass and a sleeve. I've got some disposable gloves and just a little backup torch. On the other side I've got some tissues, some antibacterial hand wash, really good, also good for lighting fires, and some bites, which again if you get stung by a wasp or something it's good to uh, put it on, it takes the pain away. And the ever trusty, I can get it, the ever trusty Lipsil. Can't get anywhere without that. Then we have here, I've got a pen, a pencil, I've got some uh, waterproof paper, which is useful, making notes with. Then in the front here, I've got, I mentioned this uh, in another video, this is a laminated card with different knots, instructions on knots. Really handy, especially for me, because I sometimes forget which one for which. Then here I have the um, my Gerber Gerber Sport. I did a review on this. It's a great tool. It goes everywhere with me. And then I've got some more paper here, just ordinary paper. And here also I have a let me get it out. A mirror. Just a cheap and cheerful mirror. So that's uh, that section. Then we go further back and this is my knife care section. I have a nice little strop, leather strop, made by Shark Designs, which I use. And before I use that I have a Falcon Even DC4, which is brilliant. That's all I use those two things for sharpening my knives. I also have in here, in a little plastic bag, a little piece of cotton cloth which I've uh, put some three-in-one oil on, so I just wipe the knife after I've sharpened it. And that's the kind of only care that I do for it. That's it in there. I've got another lighter in here with some gaffer tape on. Then we've got at the back here this is my fire lighting stuff. The lighter should have been in the, this section, really. Okay, I've got um, two strikers. I've got... This is very extravagant. This is um, SE Striker. It was a lot of money, and I kind of... Not really worth it, I guess. But it has got a watertight canister at the back where I keep my char cloth. I have some birch bark in a plastic bag. I have some uh, cotton pads impregnated with uh, Vaseline. And I have my main my main uh, rod and steel. This is actually brilliant. This is a it's called an easy edge and it's got carb carbide or carbon blade on the end and uh, it's the literally creates the best sparks. It's phenomenal actually. So that's that. That's everything in there. So, now I think we'll go on to the main compartment. Let's just check you can see it. It's also got some compression straps here, which you can put in, and that's useful for putting, uh, you can put your walking sticks or your tripod, whatever. The main compartment, just under this, The main compartment is clamshell, so it opens right out. In here I've got, now this is a very, very old uh, wind smock, fleece, fleece line wind smock. I have to say it's the best thing ever. I actually, all I need in the winter when I'm out is a uh, thermal pair, maybe a t-shirt, this and my waterproofs and I'm warm. It's a great bit of kit. Then I've got, this is my German Flecktown Gore-Tex uh, Parker. 
again, a uh, great bit of kit, cost me £20 online. It's fantastic. Then I have polystyrene uh, seat so I don't get a wet bottom when I'm sitting down having my brew up. I've got my, this is my EDC when I'm out. This is a GSO 4.1. I've had it for about a month now and I really like it. And obviously that sits on my belt, it doesn't sit in the pack. I've got uh, my waterproof plastic map case and my map and uh, a uh, silver compass in there. Then in here, in my mesh pouch here, I have all my bits and pieces for when I want to brew up. It's got uh, a kind of noodle, dried noodles in here. It's got hot chocolate and a bigger folder cup. That all sits in there. Then I've got my, I think you'll recognise this, my Laplander, my backhoe. Anyway, I think you've all seen that. <coughs> I've got my Mora Clipper, which I've done a left-handed conversion to, because I'm left-handed, just with some inner tube and uh, some paracord. I don't really use the knife so much. And this is something I bought recently. A uh, very helpful guy who's got a channel called Married to Nature. He does a lot of wood carving. He suggested I get this. It's a Mora... Um, 120. It's a carving knife and as I say, I'm getting into carving now so I'm looking forward to using that a bit more. This is a <coughs> Webtex survival straw. It's um, basically filters out impurities out of water. I've used it once just for the fun of it but I haven't used it that much. Then here Oops. In this pouch here, I have uh, my head torch, <coughs> which is a black diamond storm. I did my other one broke, not wasn't black diamond, and uh, I did a lot of research and decided this was the one, and I don't regret it. It's actually waterproof up to a meter, which makes me laugh because I think, well, if you're wearing it when you're a meter under water, you're in trouble. <laughs> But uh, I guess it means it's robust and waterproof anyway. Then <coughs> what we have, we have another sort of uh, drawstringed pocket in the back here. It's where I keep my more survival-y stuff. I've got some funky pink paracord. Bin liner. And a survival tin. Now, um, I won't show you the contents of it, it's got all the basics in it. And I do I actually do use the stuff in it. I've used the needles, I've got some artificial sinew that I used to mend a few things when I was out and about, and uh, so it is useful. I've also got a plastic bag with rubber bands around some gaffer tape, or duct tape. And finally, I've got a spare pair of batteries, or spare, not pairs, four spare batteries for the head torch. Then, in this section, there's two mesh pouches where I keep. In the top section, I've got uh, some cash in here, which is always useful. I've used it quite a few times when caught out wanting to buy something or get a cup of tea or something. I've got a uh, Frizzly bar. I always make sure I've got some nibbles in there. And I've got a spare magnifying glass. I'm not sure why that's in there. And then finally, in the main compartment, I've got... This is a web another Webtex. It's a waterproof bowl. Perfect for Sky, so she can have her water. Then there's one more compartment, believe it or not. And that's at the back here. It can take a bladder this uh, day pack but I don't use that system that hydro system hydro water system so in here what I keep is I can get through it I have my first aid kit it 
It's uh, got quite a lot of things in it. it covers quite a selection of things, and uh, it's kind of flat packed in a bag, so it sits nicely in there. I also have an emergency shelter, which I haven't thankfully used, and it would double as an emergency blanket. And finally, I've got a orange survival whistle, which I'd wear if I'm really going out, kind of in the back and beyond. I'll put that round my neck. And I think that's it. As I say, everything in here actually I've used at least once, apart from the survival blanket. So that's why I carry it all. Uh, and also carrying 15 pounds or 14 pounds, whatever, um, keeps me fitter too. <laughs> Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll quickly just lay everything out so you can see it and uh, so you can get an idea of how it all looks. Okay. Okay, so here's the kit all laid out. It looks like a heck of a lot actually. But as I said before, apart from the emergency shelter that I haven't used yet and the light stick, everything, every single thing I've used in here at least once. Obviously some much more than once. <coughs> So that's why, that's my rationale for bringing everything with me. It's all useful. And it all fits into the 511 Rush 12, which is a really impressive bag, I have to say. And I just love the way I know every time I know where everything is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, you find it interesting. If you have any comments, please make them below. I'm very willing and happy to answer any questions and uh, thanks for watching okay bye for now